We all know there is no one true canon pairing in Hitalia, and for good reason. We are shipping countries, so nothing is ever really canon. But there are some canon feelings and behaviors shown throughout the series that may suggest at least one-sided feelings. Some are obvious, but some are a bit harder to see. So this is a list of canonical romantic relations that have been seen throughout Hitalia. And another note before I start this, these are mostly comic relations. I'm not going off of outside historical relations that have not been addressed in the comic yet. So with that, let's just begin. So let's start with the obvious ones. First of all, we have the entire clusterfuck that is Jur Ida right now. And then of course the whole shtick with Holy Rome and Chibitalia. And then we have Belarus's obsessive love for Russia. And then Sweden's canonical feelings for Finland. Yes, Sweden's feelings towards Finland are canon. Himaruya stated it when he stated that Sweden was gay. He stated he only acts this way towards Finland. Also, take a look at the other evidence. I mean, first we have the whole wife meme, and then we have the whole kids thing with Sealand and also America. And then they have the dog together. And then we have this. But it appears that Finland does not reciprocate these feelings. And speaking of unreciprocated feelings, let's talk about Lithuania's crush on Belarus. This is not only stated in the manga, but in the anime as well. Twice! In the anime. Well, it could have been three times, possibly, because the Halloween event was only up for like 24 hours, so. Anyways, we all know about the date where he finally got her to go out with him, and then it lasted five minutes, and she broke all of his fingers. He kept trying to say, but my fingers naturally bend this way. Aw, how cute. He doesn't have any self-respect. That, or he's into that kind of stuff. Speaking of making it into the anime, France says Austria is attractive and has been shown to stalk him. Then again, it is France. By the way, I'm probably not going to include every single time Veneziano, France, Seaborga, or Rome has flirted with someone. Just a heads up. Russia stalks both China and Lithuania. Only the China one has turned into a meme. Speaking of Russia, in Lithuania's outsourcing, when Russia goes to visit Lithuania at America's house, Russia says to America to take good care of Lithuania for he is his ex, after all. This could be a mistranslation because I have seen other comics that says Lithuania is my property, after all. Most likely it is a mistranslation, but it is still fun to point out. Maybe it was a response to this comic where America says Lithuania is his bride. I'm sure you've seen the Tumblr post. If not, I'll link to it in the annotations, but I don't really have an explanation for this. And then there's the Christmas bloodbath of 2007. By the way, they're both naked here. Then again, everyone was naked in the Christmas bloodbath of 2007. That was literally the entire plot. France just ran around and got everyone naked. Let's go to Austria and Hungary. It is shown that Hungary may still have feelings for Austria even after they have been separated as a couple. Austria may feel the same way too, since they both give each other gifts still today on Valentine's Day, and are seen to be hanging out often in the comics. Not to mention he offered to strip in order to get her a silly hat for Christmas. Speaking of Austria's marriages, Austria was married to Spain. Yeah, they do touch over that in the comic, but it's very, very brief. Not much is known about it. All we know is Austria and Spain both like to get married a lot. It is implied, but not confirmed, that Greece and Japan slept together, though Japan claims it never happened. Also, it is confirmed that Greece does have a lot of sex, but he does not use condoms. Ew. Seaborga once asked Monaco on a date in one of the Christmas specials. She replied that she would like to, but he had to beat her in poker first. After he lost, she still went out with him anyways. And now it's time for another translation controversy involving Lithuania. Again! In the missing page of chapter 5, Poland says to Lithuania, I like, <laughs> totally don't care what you think of me. Even if you like, <laughs> hate me, it totally doesn't change the fact that I like, love you. And as you can see here, love couldn't easily be replaced with like. Man, this guy is getting so much ass! Ancient Rome's relationship with ancient Egypt and ancient Greece claiming it was love at first sight, though this could be his everyday flirting. He also thinks Pontus is cute, another part of his everyday flirting, but another thing I wanted to note about ancient Rome. 
He said in canon that he has never slept with a man while he was alive, but he wishes he did. Russia has unrequited feelings for Hungary. Now hear me out. This is heavily implied throughout the comic, and in Nota Sama 5 he claims that Hungary has always been his. In a mascot chibi, he asks her if she wants to go to lunch with him somewhere, and she smiles and says he never learns. This image is titled, Unrequited. Prussia not only has unrequited feelings for Hungary, but for Italy as well. There is so much on these two that I decided I'm going to give it its own heta mystery. And now what you've all been waiting for, the US-UK stuff. In a comic, England states that America left him heartbroken for centuries. While this could be a familial context though, America is also upset and pulls back his troops when England does not send him chocolates on Valentine's Day. When England does return with the chocolates, though, America completely forgets about it and dives in his own chocolates. This next one is a little bit of a stretch, but I had to include some Yuri in here, but it's a stretch because cute means a lot of different things in Japan. So hear me out. In this comic, Taiwan calls Vietnam a cutie and then asked for her to take a photo with her. Afterwards, the photographer edited it and made Taiwan's eyes bigger, which Vietnam found cute. But there is no denying this. In a meeting of all female nations, Taiwan says she feels uneasy about all the Western girls' cleavage and can't concentrate because of it. As a kid, Romano had a crush on Belgium. It is unknown whether he still retains this crush, but we could see it both in the anime and in the boss CD when they are making churros. He gets flustered whenever he's around her. Belgium still finds him cute today, but it is not known whether he still retains this crush. Let's go back to Spain's marriages. Here it states that Spain wanted to marry Veneciano, but Italy didn't really think Spain was being serious because he was a kid at the time. When he returned to him in 2005 saying it was legal for men to marry, Italy really congratulated him despite having said back then, he was like, okay, let's, we could get married, I guess. But then when Italy asks who he wants to marry, Spain turns to Romano. So I guess that's a little bit different. Then in the War of Austrian Succession, he's excited to defeat Austria because he can finally get Italy. But Italy rejected him and ran back crying to Austria. Then Spain says something about bananas and goes home to cry because he got rejected. Also, he pretty much molested Italy as a kid. Kugelmugel said girls like Liechtenstein are art after meeting her and she's saying he's not only just cute but he's adorable but on the other hand Liechtenstein still thinks that he is a girl and lastly sexualities characters shown to like women any character who is Italian France Kugelmugel Lithuania Estonia Greece the Holy Roman Empire Slovakia Prussia and England characters shown to canonically like men Prussia, France, Spain, Seychelles, Germany, Belarus, Italy, Hungary, Greece, Monaco, and of course, the only one with a confirmed sexuality, Sweden. If there's anything I forgot to add, let me know, and if there's enough, I'll make a part two. Until then, that was one mark higher on your history test. Thank you for watching Hetafax.